Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Mario 64 DS with glitches for the final time. This is going to be probably the worst video of the entire series, not in terms of entertainment quality, but in terms of how frustrating it is to actually execute the things I'm trying to do in it. So I guess you could say that I've left the worst for last. What I'm going to do is start off the level with the Wario hat. This is actually a strange level because it would benefit you to have Wario unlocked, but not Luigi. But, you know, we're way past that anyway, so it's no big deal. The combos in this level are the worst ones in the game. This is not really debatable, it's kind of just accepted among people who actually do coin collect this game, you know, like all three of us. So, I'm going to start off just by killing these Goombas with Wario so that I can get two coins from them. And I've screwed it up already, can I get that? Yes I can, wow, okay. Okay, maybe things are going to go well. Wasn't expecting that. Let's grab this coin while I'm here. And there is... Oh, come on. Seriously, get out of the sand. Oh, God's sake, man. It's just wasting my time, that's all this is. Dude, he's, <laughs> he's slow even when he's coming down from the tornado. Alright. I'll get these two Goombas in here as well. Now, why are the combos really difficult in this level, you might be asking. Well... Ugh. I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Just grab these coins to distract myself for the moment. But, um, this box here, there's two boxes like it in the level. As I showed in Hazy Maze Cave, what you want to do with them is try and get a five times and then have it hit a wall afterwards. So theoretically I should be able to get, what, there's three, three in that, so like 18 coins if this goes perfect, right? Let me just explain to you what the idea here is. The idea here is that it hits the first bob bomb, the second bob bomb, the fly guy. Or no, it hits the first bob bomb, the second bob bomb. It hits the bottom of the pokey, bounces back, hits the fly guy, hits the top of the pokey, and then hits this pillar here. This is obviously not going to happen at all, so I'm just going to take what I can get from it. So I'm going to try and lure him over. That looks pretty good. I'll lure these guys over. And let's go. And it went away, way off into the distance, for God's sake. At least I can get one of the coins from it. So I, I really screwed that up quite a lot, but, you know, there's not really much I can do about it. It's just ridiculously hard. And uh, I'm not going to give myself unnecessary stress by actually seriously going for the max in this. There's one person who's ever done it, and I don't even remember if he actually got it, or if he just, like, got, if he just has the record, or if he actually got the theoretical max. I think it's improved since he did that anyway, but that was a long, long time ago. Alright, so I'm going to be leaving the crazy boxes for now. Um, I, I just really want to play this safe. I, I'm really scared right now. I mean, I've barely started the level, so it wouldn't be too big of a deal if I did die, but I just can't be bothered with it. I want to get through this, because this level is... The combo part of it, at least, is just horrible. Let me just let these guys explode so I can respawn them. Let's grab this while I'm here. Turn the camera around nice and slow. Okay, so I'm going to just see what I can get from this one. You know, I should be able to get, uh, theoretically, another six times for this. Let me just lure him over. Right, come on you. You as well. Um, yeah, that was another tremendous failure. I don't even know. Oh, okay, it did hit something, so I guess it wasn't all bad. Just mostly bad. But, um, yeah. I'm just gonna collect all the coins that I can from around the level now. That's me done with the combos for the outside part. I mean, it's only two combos, but they're really, really hard. And there's another really difficult one inside the pyramid, which I'll be getting later on. I don't like this direction that I'm going here. Oh, Jesus. Alright. Oh, that wasn't actually too bad. I managed to get them all. Okay, so... What's next? I guess I'm gonna grab this. And just sort of run around the level. I'll come back for him later. Nope. Okay, that's much more like it. Some coins on the pyramid that I can grab. Now 
Nope, come here. Come on. Okay. Having the shell here is really beneficial because these coins would be a nightmare to get quickly otherwise. So these boxes respawn, but obviously after they do, there's nothing in them. It's only the first time that they have the coins. No, oh, I got that one already. Yeah, I've opened the top of the pyramid. It's not really going to make much of a difference. I think I'm going to be entering from the bottom, actually. It's just easier. Right, let's see. Should be a red coin knocking about here. And I missed it. Okay, I don't think I need to be Yoshi anymore, so let me just grab this. Grab this as well, because there's a couple black blocks. Oh, I didn't mean to press that, but I love those ones because the coins are always like in the middle like that, so you never need to worry about it. I'm just going to go back and get the shell again. I think I should probably get the Mario hat now, actually, so I can like fly about. Oh, I've still to get this guy in fact. Right, okay, he's come down for me, which is good. Oh, no, he's way back up. I picked the first star just so that Klepto the Condor will stay out of my way. I mean, he's not really that much of a nuisance, but, you know, might as well make it easier for myself if I can. So I'm trying to think if there's actually much more outside of the flying stuff. I don't really think there is. It's funny because, like, the amount of coins that you can get in this level is like, I think it's like 193 or something. It's certainly close to that number. If it's not 193, then it's 196. Oh, the crazy box. That's right, I forgot. I've already got the other one, so I'll just grab this one now. Just head over here, where it's nice and safe. And I managed to get them all, which is always good. Okay. So... Right, before I get the rest of them, I just want to clarify something. Obviously, I just broke the crazy box. For a while, a friend of mine and I were experimenting with this level to try and see if we could find an infinite glitch, like the one we did in Tall Tall Mountain, where you pick up the the crazy box with Yoshi while swimming. There is a way to get the top. If, if you go Mario and go on, let me just show you, this square here, when the tox box lands on you, you can punch it. I did mention this earlier, and it'll land over here, and you can sort of get out of bounds and swim underneath the level. I tried doing that with Yoshi. Like, I mean, obviously I knocked it over with Wario, but then changed to Yoshi and tried to swim and grab the top of the crazy box from, like, under underground, and it didn't work. It's just too high up. But I found another glitch where, like, if you jump up and get the crazy box in Yoshi's mouth and then take damage before the bounce animation starts, you'll spit it out, but it won't break. It'll just, like, move slightly over. So with the one at the start, I tried to move it so that it was on, like, the sloped area like this. But I still wasn't able to grab it. I think the only way we're going to be able to do it is if we can flood the level like we did in Tall Tall Mountain. Which I don't see happening with. We still don't really know what caused that in Tall Tall Mountain, so... An infinite glitch in this level would seriously be a godsend, but I don't think it's ever going to happen at this point. So, we'll just get on with the regular route. Let's just restart it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that after I get these two reds, that's everything. I can head inside. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to just enter through the front door. Just take a bit of a risk. Go up this way. And I want to be Yoshi for this, so I'll just lose the hat before I go in. I just can't help but feel like I've missed something out there, but... I just can't think of what it could be. Now, I can tell you something right away. That block over there, inside the hole, does not have any coins in it. I tested this earlier. Because that would have sucked if there, if there were coins in it. Alright, so there's quite a few coins I can get in here. And that's the 150th star, by the way. That's all of them collected, but obviously we're not quite done yet. 
Still got to get all the coins that I can get in here. So the other ridiculous combo involves this box here. There's three Goombas back here. I want to try and lure some of them over here. Just a bit. Just even one is fine. I want to lure this guy down here a bit. Okay. And ideally I could get this guy over, but I know it's not going to work, so I'm just going to go with this. Alright, that was a little jump cut there, but we're okay. Um, the result from that combo wasn't as good as I thought it would have been. You know, I was hoping to get at least about 12 coins. I think I got like 9 from the combo itself. Obviously those two Goombas were unaffected, but... It's just really hard to do. I think the idea is that you would hit this one, then try and long jump down so that those ones were on screen. But, you know what, forget it. I don't care. If you guys want to mess around with us, then go ahead, but... <laughs> it's not easy to do. So, let me think. I want to go and get the Wario hat because there is a metal box here, which means that I can get two coins from each of the Goombas. Right, this coin here... Ugh, it's in like the worst possible spot, seriously. Hey, you know what, forget it, I'm not getting it, I'm not taking the risk. I'm not going to risk dying over that, it's ridiculous. I'll just add one to my score at the end of it. Alright, so the... Power flower is over here. Come on, for fuck's sake. Gonna have to be a little bit quick here because some of them are a little bit out of the way. Probably gonna make a couple trips. Just gonna get two coins instead of one for each of the rest of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back around and get it again. But I'm pretty sure those are the last Goombas in the level. So yeah, like 190 plus, I really don't think I'm going to get even close to that. Well, I already know I'm not, but it's just crazy to think that that's actually possible. Oh, please. Oh, God. I'm going to have to do another trip. Alright, let me just make sure there's no more Goombas down here. There are. Excellent. I guess I could come round this way instead of... Alright, whatever. Come on, Mario, for God's sake, just once do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go back around that way, I think, and get that one Goomba. Oh, I guess I'm not, actually. I guess the game has decided for me that I'm not gonna do it, so... Brilliant, excellent, that's exactly what I want. And that kind of shit is the exact reason I'm glad that this playthrough is about to be over. Let's go back around the other way. I'm never going to get to it. It's just the awful controls are going to prevent me from getting this. Here for fuck's sake, man. You've got to be shitting me. You've got to be. You must be. There's no other explanation. This is ridiculous. Oh, God, I hate this. Yep, just I've got nothing to say right now. I'm just I just don't care. I just want it to be done. Can't wait for it to be done. Fuck! Get out my fucking way, you stupid fuck! It's just 
so pointless, man. It just takes so long. Like, can I get another one? Of course not. Don't be stupid. Let's just grab these while I'm here. Alright, try to be more positive about it. I'm not actually glad that it's ending, I'm just glad that this level is not going to be anything I have to look forward to anymore. It's going to be out of my life forever. See, I, I, I didn't press the dive button though, that's the thing. I was clearly holding R when I pressed A, so he shouldn't have done a dive, he should have done a slide kick. It's just no excuse, no excuse at all. Please let this be the end. Yes! I'm pretty sure that's all the Goombas in the level, so... I'm gonna take the Luigi hat because I want it to be easy for the rest of it. Don't you dare get crushed. Um, I think it's just upwards from now. But I'm taking so many risks right now. Don't like it. Just please get the coins. Come on, seriously, the controls, I'm holding backwards and he just goes forward. What's that all about? It's like in Mario Galaxy, it's just a must just be a thing with modern games where controls just never work the way they're supposed to. Don't don't even think about it. Uh, just getting bored. It's really old. Got really old really fast. I just want to get the coins, but I don't want to take forever doing it, but I guess I'm going to have to. I'm just going to have to get it like a bitch and do it this way. Come on. I know there's five in the quicksand here as well, so I guess I'll grab them next. This is probably the only level in the game that I've never actually seriously attempted to get Max in. I mean, I think I did like once or twice years ago, but after I saw how difficult it was, I was like, never again. <laughs> Come on. No. Don't recall authorizing that thing to shock me. Don't know why it thought I could do it. Uh, I think that's it. That's it done. I mean, there is another one. That one inside the, the sand, but I'm not going to take the risk. I don't care enough. Let's just grab the star and get the hell out of here. Okay, let's not. Let's just not. Let's just add any other sort of roadblock that we can think of just to make this more tedious than it already is, if you can imagine such a thing. <sighs> Sorry for all the ranting, it's just getting a bit annoying, but it's done now. To be fair, 173 isn't that bad. I mean, it's certainly nothing to be proud of, but eh, it's alright. I guess I'll take it. But that is pretty much the end of the playthrough. I mean, not really. There is one last thing that I want to do. I've now managed to get decent to good scores in every single level, and in one case, or several cases, the maximum that you can get, which is cool. But there is still one thing that I've not kind of tied up. The little key is still on the map, and that's because I've not opened this door yet, as you can see. You know, the game's fully complete and I still haven't done that. And I will get to that, but before I do it, I want to just relieve some of my tension a little bit. So I'm going to take these rabbits, I'm going to carefully go into the cannon, I'm going to shoot myself up there. I'm just gonna. I'm, I'm jumping without like touching the D-pad until I'm in the air, because otherwise the rabbit will just get spat out. But if I just get the power flower, then guess what? The rabbit's dead. Look, it's nothing but fire now. 
And I'm going to go and do that with all the other rabbits as well. Or at least the ones that I can. It's actually kind of tricky to do this, like... Sometimes you'll just get caught and... You'll just get, like, get forced to spit them out. But I'm going to try and see if I can kill as many as I can, just for the fun of it. And I think at the very end I'm going to try and kill the one that has the key. Just so that the front door can never, ever, ever be opened. I think that's an appropriate way to end this playthrough. Let's just get into the tree, turn around so I can get into the cannon easily. Yeah, that thing I mentioned about like not touching the D-pad until you're already in there is like the most important part of this glitch. Yeah, you really need to make sure that you're not doing that, because if you are, then you'll just spit the rabbit out right away. And this sort of movement where I can like run around with the rabbit in my mouth is only possible in version one of the game, so if you don't have that then I'm sorry, but you're out of luck. Come on, hurry up and we're off. Right, so I've executed two of them so far. Should be like another four or something. No, this isn't the key one, is it? No, it's not. Right. I don't know its pattern, no. I don't know where it's going. Uh, this is just annoying me now. It's too close to the other one. Right, it's the fast one I want. The, the, Jesus, that other one's really slow. Come on. Oh, how did I not get it there? Right, we're gonna long jump at it. No, I, I definitely got it there, like, that's, this is just bullshit. Okay, yeah, you thought you could run from me, didn't you? Showed you who's boss. Right, let me get into this tree so I can just turn around. This is so ridiculous, by the way. But I like this glitch. Let's carefully get into the tree. And into the cannon. I mean, these rabbits aren't really that much of a frustration source. You know, the one in the original MIPS kind of was, so I guess this is like vengeance on all his descendants for all the trouble that he's caused everyone trying to catch him. There's one down here I can get. I'll be getting you in a second. Best start running the other way. Okay. I'm gonna have to come all the way back up. I can't just like win the war because it's not possible to really like climb up that hill with this thing in your mouth. Come on. Fortunately this hill isn't steep enough, or it's not too steep that I can't like just climb up it normally. Okay, so just two more after this, not including the one with the key. I'm not actually sure what's going to happen if I kill the one with the key. I've never done it before, so I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, I would imagine that the... I don't know, either it's going to respawn if I come back into the area. Oh, sh sugar. Alright, this one gets to survive. Oh, he's giving me a key as well. That's nice. No, don't save. Oh no. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay. Let's get out of this. I'm not going to kill the rest of them, I'm just going to kill the one with the key. That's really weird that that happened though, I've never seen that before. It must have something to do with the fact that that, that one with the key is still there. Obviously all the other ones are back by the way, so... Come on. You're the easiest rabbit to catch in the game. So I'm not having any of this crap. It's probably quite an anticlimactic end to the to the series, but 
you know, the very first thing that I pointed out when I started it was that I wasn't going to open the door and that I was leaving the rabbit on the map. And I've done that all the way till the end, so... I think this is a good way to send it off. You know, even though I was moaning a lot in uh, Shifting Sandland there, I actually really have enjoyed this playthrough. I honestly think it's been one of my better ones, actually. Because I know quite a lot about this game when it comes to glitches and stuff, so... Yeah, I think I've been able to show off a lot of stuff that a lot of people may not know about. As well as going into some of the trickier things of the game, like coin collecting. Still got it. And yeah, that was, that was my other guess, by the way, that the key thing would now relocate to the top of the castle. I don't think anything's going to happen if I go up there, but let's just find out. Let's just see if I can open the door first of all. Probably not. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I think I might be stuck. Come on, on you go. Anything happen when I open this? Nope. Alright, let's see if I can enter the basement. I doubt it. Because the top door didn't open. Okay, this one does still work. So, is the key on the map anymore? No, it's... Oh, it is. It's, it's a way up there. See, next to Yoshi's uh, life counter. On the touch screen. Okay, so let's see what happens. Has it reset? Yes, it has. Well, <laughs> that's the end of it. I guess I'm not going to open the door. I'm just going to leave that on the... On the map forever, just as a reminder of this series. That I've completed the game without opening the castle door. Which was one of my initial goals, so I'm happy that that's been met. I'll just have a quick look at the coin scores. 217, 206, 140, that's max. 197, you can get 255 there. 160 is max. 198, I think you can get like 233 if you do it perfectly. That's not max, I think like 215 or something's max, isn't it? Or 205, I don't know. That's not even close. That's... Is that max? I don't know. No, I think it's not. I think I missed like two of the coins from the black bricks, didn't I? That one again, you can get 255. That's max. That's max. You can get 255 there, but I managed to get a yeah, 192, like the amount that you can get in the N64 one, if you include the impossible coin. That's max. No, what is it actually? I think 137 with that Bob Alm is max. I must have screwed something up there. And Yeah, I, I did collect the coins, but then I got the star while falling at my death or something, didn't I? I don't even remember. But you can get 255 there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's the end of Mario 64 DS for glitches. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in my next playthrough. If you've enjoyed this series, just don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to watch the whole thing again, there should be a link to it, just to the right of the video, the where the word playlist is. You just click that, you can watch through all of them in order. So, thanks for the support, guys. I've enjoyed it. Hope you have too. See you in the next series.